Hey there, Grease Monkeys. Today I have a somewhat quick video. Uh, I'm currently making a tutorial on how to use linking on like group projects and sharing files and linking props and environments. And while I was doing some testing and some research for this, I actually discovered something pretty interesting about linking. Uh, when you link objects, it basically is like a duplicate that's referencing uh, another object. And I used to think that this optimized uh, your scenes, or at least optimize it greatly. Uh, after some tests, I actually found out something even more interesting. So I'm going to run through some of the, the tests right now, and I'll talk through them. And then you'll see at the end what can actually really optimize your scenes. All right, so here's the first test. I got the room, which is about 2 million faces, and duplicated it six times. Uh, and I duplicated it with Shift D and not Alt D, so these are all unlinked, thus why the amount of faces is at 10 million. The file size balloons because of that. It's 386 megabytes now. There's 66 lights, so about 11 lights per room. And the frame rate goes between 10 to 16 frames per second, depending on how many rooms are it. On screen in this scene I got the room and I do and put it in the collection and duplicated that collection six times thus why the faces are now back to about two million faces uh, so only the first one is the original geometry the rest of them are linked and uh, the file size greatly reduced it's now down to 66 megabytes uh, say, same with the 66 lights uh, and the frame rate, roughly the same, 10 megabytes to 15, 16 megabytes. And not much, uh, not much different, huh? In this scene, I got a new file and I linked uh, the six duplicates into this new file to see if having a file that's just linked with the uh, objects would be any faster. You can see there's 10 million faces, so they're all duplicated. Uh, but this whole, all six of these rooms is linked from another file. Uh, the optimization, not too different, same file size, 66 uh, megabytes, um, 66 lights. It feels faster, but it's really not. In this scene, I got a new file and I linked the entire scene from the original uh, environment and linked the scene. So I can't change anything in the scene. It's all linked. And the scene is 2 million uh, faces and once again, roughly the same amount of, uh, of frames per second, 10 to 15, depending on the room. So then I thought to myself, all right, what if there was no lights? So this is the test with no lights. You can see I'm hitting 60 frames a second. Uh, obviously, this is silly. You want lights in the scene. So I'm like, all right, let me reduce the lights. So I reduced the lights. So there's only 36 lights in this scene. The scenes are linked and uh, the frames per second boosted up. So it's definitely the lights that are really slowing down uh, any EV scene. And then I thought to myself, what if I took off all the shadows but left all the lights on? So here I have all the lights, all duplicated, linked, and it's going at a 60, oh, almost 60 frames a second. So you can see that what's really affecting the optimization of the your Blender EV files is the shadow lights. I had anywhere between 36 to 66 lights. Uh, and once all the shadows were off, I got 60 frames a second. Once the shadows were on, that's when I went down to 10 frames a second. If you look at the manual, there's uh, limitations on EV. There's a limit of 128 lights, and I only went halfway th to that. And there's only eight shadowed sun uh, lights can be supported. So only eight sun lights with shadow can be supported but i'm not sure that applies to the point lights or area lights so i essentially had 11 or 11 for this scene but once it's duplicated i had either 36 or 66 and that's really what brought down the optimization so when you have your lights if you have them all in one place if you ever wanted to i wish it was a toggle to press like turn off all shadows or uh you know pick and choose but right now i'll show you a trick to turn off shadows 
uh, you can select all your lights. You see that this is the one that's selected. Unselect shadow there and then right click on that box and click copy to selected. So what this will do is this will turn off the shadows for every uh, uh, point light that's selected. Right now I have area lights too. So if I hold control and I select this area light, you can see by the icon here, the circle, and then this is square for the area. You see the shadow is on. So you have to do it for every type of light as well. So make sure you deselect that, right click, and then click copy to selected. Now I, I go through these, I have no shadows. So I guess the tip would be to be strategic with your lights um, and choose maybe a limited amount of lights that actually produce a shadow, the ones that are most important to you. Usually within video games, the way that uh, this would be fixed is that they bake the lights onto the objects themselves so the materials already have the lighting information and have the light maps on there uh, and that's how like video games get really good with lighting there's a lot of fake lighting that's happening uh, instead of having 36 to 66 real-time lights going out of time uh, i hope that was helpful or uh, educational and but uh, have a tutorial coming about linking and look forward to that and i hope to see you on the next one take care mm -hmm.